So we've heard information before about underscreen camera tech. That is the technology that allows a complete camera unit with the sensor and the lens to be placed under the screen of a smartphone. We've seen prototype devices from both Xiaomi and Oppo showing off this technology, but now it seems that Samsung are getting in on the act. One of the biggest problems faced in smartphone design is what to do with that annoying front camera. The main problem is that even though now we have OLED screens which are transparent enough to actually put a camera lens underneath, they aren't perfect. It's like if I put this bit of plastic in front of my camera lens. It is transparent, but you can't really see the image properly. It's distorted and it's just generally terrible. You couldn't put that as a front camera in a smartphone. But we have seen Xiaomi and Oppo show off devices with underscreen cameras and the images that you get from them seem to be passable. So the image you get from underscreen camera phones is okay, but it's not at the level to be able to put it into a product that you sell to consumers right now. But according to the latest information, Samsung have perfected both their software components and more importantly, their hardware manufacturing lines. And they'll be looking to put this in a consumer product in the first half of 2020. According to this information, Samsung will look to produce about 30,000 units of this device each month once their manufacturing is up to speed. But if you're thinking this would go into a flagship phone, maybe the Galaxy S11, I don't think it will. First, we know that Samsung does not test out brand new types of technology in their flagship lineup of phones for many reasons. The first being that their flagship phones need to be dependable and trustworthy, and it can't be seen to be using some new type of tech that could have issues. The second is that Samsung usually test out new bits of technology on their A series lines. For example, the A80 had the flip rotating camera. And according to some Korean websites anyway, they think that this under screen technology may come on the Galaxy Fold 2. That would make sense because the Galaxy Fold 2 will be a much more expensive device. It's seen as an experimental device too. But of course, nothing has been confirmed by Samsung. So as yet, we really don't know what type of product they're thinking of putting this technology in. Ice Universe actually came out with his opinions on this and said that he doesn't think definitely that this is going in the S11 or even the Galaxy Fold 2. So as for what device this is going in, we'll just have to wait and see. According to this information, we know that they'll be able to produce about 30,000 units a month. So it's gonna be a product that is selling in pretty low volumes. Also because this tech is new, it faces some problems. The first one is the amount of light that can come into the sensor. And the second one is distortion of that light and also color distortion that will lead to the image just not being that great. But Samsung have apparently perfected both the software and the hardware to make this product good enough to put in phones. Yes, it's here, under screen camera tech in phones. Xiaomi, Oppo will definitely be making phones with it and now Samsung too. Subscribe for all the latest tech news, leaks and rumors. Also follow my Twitter for more information. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.